Hello viewers, welcome again and in this video, this is example number 2. So we are going to solve one more example for more um, clarity in the concept. So uh, this is a very important example you can say that because you can see this is the input and this is the output. So we are going to reduce the complete uh, uh, blocks into a single block which make our uh, calculation easier. So you can see that the direction of arrows is very important in the block diagram reduction concept. So now we can split that here you can see this is the negative symbol that is given which means that these two blocks are in feedback and these two are in parallel. Uh, if you want to, um, I will elaborate this. We can uh, write the block diagram like this that is G1 with a summing point and here you can see another branch is coming that, that is G3 and it is getting added to this plus plus. So we can simply attach these two and here another summing point and here g2 output so now i will represent this feedback so you can see that this is getting negatively added so i can write this h2 here with a negative sign so now you can see that uh, the functionality is not changed and here is the input by writing this diagram in this format so now you can reduce this simply that is g1 and g3 are adding each other so you can write these two are parallel blocks g1 plus g3 into this is the feedback that is g by a negative feedback so 1 plus eh if it is positive feedback then you can write as 1 minus eh so it is a negative feedback for time being g2 by 1 plus g2 into h2 so this is the transfer function of the complete blocks that is present so now you can represent this as single block with an input and here taking an output so by knowing uh, certain reduction rules and uh, modifications that are that are to be taken care while uh, doing the sum then you can simply write the answer in single step hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's all for this one and see you in the next one